So just follow me, because I'm finna take you down the road. What do you do with it, ain't y'all? This your girl, Star J Craziness, and I'm coming to you, 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 and you with another Word on the Street segment. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. So, baby, Bambi done went on V103 down here in the ATL, and they had, you know, mentioned that Scrap been on these trips with Miss Erica Dixon and stuff like that. Now, Bambi claims that Scrappy invited her on the vacation before he popped out with Erica Dixon. I guess they referring to the Hawaii trip. And she gonna say he can't get what he want over here, so he's gonna get it over there. And I was like, oh, Lord. A lot of people pointing uh -huh. to a, a vacation that happened recently between your ex and his ex. Well, whether yeah. or not they're still exes, did that make you feel a way? No, it didn't. And one reason is because he wanted me and the children to go on vacation with uh, him. Oh, that was and sweet. Then, yeah, I was you like... You said hell no. I didn't say hell no, but, you know, I respectfully kind of... Declined. ...eased my way out of the conversation. And then, you know, that's just typical, you know, him, what he does. Mm. And get what he want over here, he gonna go over there. So... Wow. Oh, oh, I, th oh, I thought when you said you got invited, I thought you he was trying to do co-parenting with all of you Girl, guys. Girl, like everybody go together. Shamia. Oh my gosh, I'm thinking this is like a Will Jada type of you know entanglement. Honey, that would never happen. Oh yeah. So yeah, there I go playing green. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> But it didn't stop there, y'all. It didn't stop there. So Erica Dixon had got in V103 comments because they actually posted a clip from the interview referring to the situation. And she goes to say, she added, Mama D, they still running amok in the palace. Let me plan another trip and see something. Oh, Lord. Now you starting it. So y'all just being messy all around. See, Tigger? See what you're going to start it. But baby, Mama D wasn't having that. She wasn't having that. It's like Erica blowed the whistle and here come Mama D. And she done went live. And this is what she said. So y'all let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Roll the footage. Well, you know, everybody can tell a lie. And it's, okay, you say, well, I got white sneakers on and you, you got red. But hey, babies, hey, 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 hey. Hey, Logan. Juicy fruit. Hey, sweeties. Okay, I see you, Erica. Yeah, I'm finna tell it. So, but for someone to constantly lie on your child, like every day they live and breathe a lie, their whole existence is a lie. I mean, they're there, but what they portray to the world is really not who you think you know. So just follow me, because I'm finna take you down the road. But on the road, on the name of this street means no outlet. Okay, meaning it ain't going nowhere. It's a dead end. Okay, so let me take you on this this uh, magic carpet ride for uh, just a short moment. <clears throat> so, you know, I tend to stay out of it because I'm real busy. But when someone just constantly gets and do interviews on your child and I raised him to not talk negative or down on a woman. And thank God he listened to that. He don't listen to too much, but he listened to that. And he refused to give a negative comment. And um, I'm sure y'all watched that as negative things were done to him and his family. However, when someone gets on V103 and they do an interview, they're not calling his name. But you know who she's talking about. I'm talking about the BAM. Going to say that she was invited. <laughs> Let me just word it a little bit, y'all. Y'all go back and find that V103 um, interview. I was invited for, to Hawaii. But, you know, I, uh, I Oh, I did. Oh, I didn't go. You know, cause you know. Uh, listen, stop. They should have caught the lie when it was Erica's birthday uh, event in Hawaii. Why would Erica invite the hoofs to Hawaii? Cause Gal, uh, listen. Erica trots like a, a Clydesdale. She don't gallop like a damn horse. Okay, let's get that clear. Secondly, secondly, um, for some, I, V103 should have caught that lie. I'm really like, were they listening? And the lie she told that Scrappy invited her to the Hawaii trip, 
But she forgot. She forgot that people can think. She really thinks that the whole world is stupid. She actually, you know, prides herself on y'all not paying attention to what she says. Catch the lie now. She said she was invited to Hawaii, but, uh, uh, you know, I, I, I didn't get, you know. You weren't invited. You know why? Because it was Erica's birthday uh, situation. So now you're trying to say, scrapping him by a ticket to the day that he left. So he couldn't invite you because he didn't have his own damn ticket. Okay. Whew. V103, I love you. But you should have caught that lie. I thought y'all were a little bit, you know, your interviewers, when you interview, pay attention to the questions that you ask and then the answer, okay? And you will know. And let me tell you, anytime somebody just make up a lie, y'all, ain't got a lie. Because for me, had it been said about me and my ex-husband, guess what I would say? And they brought up that trip to uh, Erica and Scrappy and why. I said, well, honey, that's, let him do him. Uh, right now, I'm trying to sell a book. A children's book. I'm trying to sell hair in an empty boutique. I'm trying. You know what I'm saying? And people ain't getting their money back. Okay? Concentrate on that. So, why would you just make up a lie? It's better to walk away from a question. Now, get this clear. It's better to walk away from a question than to just out and out lie. Go back on B13 interview with the BAM. She says, quote, unquote, he invited her, but it was Erica's birthday outing in Hawaii. Ugh. They didn't catch the lie when she lied, y'all. Okay. So I'm just saying, this girl prides herself on laughing at, at y'all when y'all believe her. Y'all been doing it for a while. Some of y'all been believing everything she say. Anytime somebody lie about their age, let me tell you something. If they lie about their age and their mama lie, help them lie, cover up, imagine what else you don't know. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mama did a lot of things to a lot of people, but I'm not a liar or a thief. So you know what the word of God say, a lie and a thief will not tear in your sight. But I don't care. I don't care. I'm not here to smear her, no smear campaign. I just want her to stop lying. Just stop lying. Why you got to lie on my son like that? He's not, he don't care about you and your 10 boyfriends or nothing like that or whatever you got because he's not interested. He's unbothered. Everybody's unbothered. Just go. And y'all got to think, and somebody got, ooh, y'all, y'all wasn't thinking. When that question was asked, her answer, go back and look at her answer. Remember, it was Erica's birthday gathering in Hawaii. She straight lied. She straight lied. She straight lied. They didn't even catch it. She just keep lying to the world. But when they, when they find out, and I got it all on her, and I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting. She going to keep on, and I'm going to stingle be her ass. Mm-hmm. I'm a stingo B, not physically, you hear me? But I'm finna expose it because I'm getting real tired of hearing the lies. If I went on the interview, if they asked me about one of my exes, well, honey, whatever he doing, fine with me, bye. Can we move to the next question? Okay. But she feel compelled to lie. She just got to lie. The truth ain't nowhere in her. That's a shame. Go back. Y'all look at the interview. Don't take my word. Watch the lie. It was Erica's birthday in Hawaii, but Scrap invited her. Y'all, it's Eric, it was Erica's birthday thing in Hawaii. Oh, my God. She ain't got nothing else to do but lie. Who is she? That's what I'm asking y'all. Who in the hell is she? Well, I'm getting ready to get off. I ain't going to stay on here long. Why? Yeah, y'all. Y'all y'all go look at that B-103 interview. Yeah. She straight out lied, and they didn't even catch it. They didn't even catch it. V103 from Mama D. You should be ashamed of yourself. You better do your background, because her mama didn't even raise her. I'm out. I'll let y'all know everything. I know who did. So at the end of the day, I'm just going to reserve my stuff, because it's going to be juicy. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... I'm not going to answer any more questions. I just came on to tell y'all, look at the interview. See how they didn't catch the lie. It was Erica Alley to Hawaii and her birthday weekend. No, you didn't think that (laughs) Erica invited her, right? But she said Scrappy invited her. Just making up lies. Girl, go to bed and then wake back up. Look, lay down. 
wake up. Lay down. Wake up. She think the world's stupid. Wait till the world find out. Y'all gonna be so freaking mad. Y'all gonna be disappointed. But I keep telling y'all, y'all won't listen. I'm getting ready to sign out. Y'all have a good day. Catch the lie in her lair.